Let's pray real quick. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I am holding something in my hands that you may be <coughs> unfamiliar with after all these years of us printing bulletins, but this, this is a hymnal, and we're going to be actually using it today. We are going to be using a service called the Service of the Word, which is very similar to With One Voice 75, which we sometimes use during the summer. So I'm going to ask you to turn in your hymnal to page 211, and that is the small 211 and the bottom of your hymnal. Um, that is where we will begin in a few minutes after announcements. by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all of our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will begin worship with our gathering hymn, hymn number 267, which is Joy to the World.
please turn back in your hymnals to uh, page 213. That is the small 213. <coughs> <coughs> Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Christ, our Redeemer and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. reading from Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. And thank you. Thanks be to God. Today we will skip our psalm reading rather than having you try to find it in the handle, since they didn't give it page numbers for some odd reason. So the second reading. A reading from Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God, God, God has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand as you're able for our gospel reading. children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. So my present to you on this Christmas day is a very, very short reflection rather than a sermon. You're welcome. <laughs> so the reading we just read is the, is the first chapter of John, the, the very beginning of John. 
And in verse 12, he says, but to all who receive him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. If you look through the Gospel of John, you will never see John use the word believe as a noun. Okay? It's always a verb. It's always an action. And the reason for that is because John thinks that simple belief, just believing that Jesus was a real person, believing that Jesus was born on Christmas Day or on Christmas Eve, believing that Jesus was the Savior is not enough. You have to believe in what Jesus stood for in what Jesus did, in what Jesus came for, in what Jesus taught, in what Jesus believed. So every time he uses believe, it is an action word, a verb, pushing you to believe more in what Jesus is doing, more in what he has come to say, more in the love that he is here to show. It's important because when we get to Christmas, it's really easy for us to celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then pack away all our decorations and forget about it until it's time for Christmas season to come back around in what? It's October now, right? It starts September. Eventually, it's just going to be year round, I think. You'll already see the town taking down decorations probably in the next couple of days. When I worked for Advanced Auto Parts, we had a standing order. The day we came back from Christmas, from that being the only day we were closed, we were to take down all the Christmas decorations before we opened the store that day. Because Christmas was over. That's what the world wants us to believe. But we are believing in something different. We believe in a Christ who came to us as a child, as a human, who suffered with us, who loved with us, who went through the pain of crucifixion for us. That's not something that you can just pack away on Christmas Day. That's something that stays with you all year long if you are truly believing in what Jesus is and what he teaches. For us, the newborn Christ is not a one-time thing. Christ is with us every day, and we are born anew every day. We're sent out into the world every day to love others, to bring God's love to others. The question for us is whether we're willing to do that. Because too often, we go along with what the world wants. We pack away Christmas, we pack away our faith, and we do it as soon as we hit those doors. So on this Christmas Day, my challenge to you is to turn your faith into a verb. Make it an action word. Make it something you actually do, not just something you claim. Go out into the world and show God's love. Be kind to others. Help them when they need help. Love them when they need love. Don't pack away your faith. Wear it on your sleeve. Thanks be to God. Amen.
I invite you to stand as you're able as we sing our hymn of the day, hymn number 270, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
through our sharing of your love with our neighbors, extend his praise into all the world, that with us many would come to hope in his steadfast love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Holy God, send forth righteous leaders to proclaim your peace and bring us your good news. Keep them faithful to declare your gracious reign in Christ. Bless the work of bishops, pastors, deacons, missionaries, and lay leaders at home and abroad, that all the earth may see your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, as our families gather in this holy season, give us patience that we may be slow to judge and quick to forgive. Comfort the lonely with your presence and help us extend the welcome of our homes and the friendship of your grace. Make us mindful of those less fortunate who celebrate this blessed feast in poverty and want and teach us to be generous. Accept our offerings of service and our voices in praise and thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, your Son upholds our world. Grant to our nation to walk humbly before you. Bless our soldiers and all who stand watch this day. Keep them safe as they serve and uphold their families while they are apart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, keep all who are sick, lonely, overwhelmed by grief, or poor in spirit. We remember especially all on our prayer list and those we name now, aloud or in the silence of our hearts. Bring healing and comfort to them according to your good and gracious will, and let them look to Christ, remembering that he is the light no darkness can overcome. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we give thanks for all our people who have gone before us and now rest in your presence. Keep us faithful with them until that day when you make all things new and gather us all into your blessed kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please stand as you are able. The peace of Christ be with you all. And also with you. Let us share that peace with one another.
justice and love. We give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need, awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your feast. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, my friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to join as we sing our final hymn, hymn number 283, O Come All Ye Faithful.
peace, Christ is born. And thanks be to God.